I will begin right away with questions. In the room, questions. Front row to your right. John Quill, obviously you guys have been to the finals twice in four years, the semifinals four times in four years. Um, what's going to take to, to get, you, do you feel the window is, is closing and what do you take, think it will take to get that, take that final step? I mean, we just lost, so I'm just trying to process this right now. I'm, I really wish I could answer that for you right now, but all I know is it hurt and that's all I'm feeling right now. Next question, third row to your left. Hey, A.T., uh, question for you. Um, obviously, it's still raw in the moment, but when you look back on, on what this team was this year and what it meant to you and, and everything that you guys put together to get here, um, what are some things that you're going to maybe finally reflect on from it? Um, I mean, <laughs> nobody expected us to be here, um, first and foremost. Um, they thought we would lose to Chicago. They thought we would lose to Dallas. And... Despite all of that, we made it to the finals. Um, unfortunately, it, it didn't go the way that we wanted to, but I mean, we had fun. We played our basketball and we stuck together all year. And like I said, it, it just didn't go the way we wanted to. Uh, Courtney, question for you uh, right here. Um, for you to have the type of playoff moments that you've had, Kurt talked about he was your coach. 10 Courtney Williams. How significant has it been for you with everything that you've gone through the last couple of years to be able to show what you could do on this stage? I mean, I think it's, it's surreal, right? I was telling them in the locker room, like, to me, it feel like I wouldn't even be here if it wasn't for these folks here beside me. You know, I went through a lot this all season, and a lot of people kind of threw the towel in on me. But these girls right here was my first phone call telling me to come here. So, I mean, it hurt. You know, we wish that the cards would have been dealt differently for us, but I'm grateful, you know what I mean? Because ain't nobody had me being here, you know? A lot of people had me out of the league. So, you know, to go through what I went through and, and make it to the finals and be able to play beside my sisters again, like, oh, man, I can't even be upset. Like, I'm just happy to be here. Uh, next question will turn to Zoom for Stephen. And to our media, the Las Vegas locker room will be open in about two minutes. Once again, right now, we'll turn to Stephen on Zoom. Hello, ladies. Uh, this question is for whoever would like to answer it. Um, this is about Jasmine Thomas. Can you guys speak to just the impact that she had? Of course, she was moved from the team as far as being in between the lines early in the season. But can you speak to the role that she played the rest of the way as far as leadership and, you know, being a channel of communication and things of that nature? Yeah, you know, she's a leader. She's a leader, and um, we respect her voice. We respect the things that she has to say. Um, you know, she's been our PG for so many years, and so we understand that she sees the game differently and that, um, you know, a lot of the ways in which we can impact the game, she's kind of been that, that second coach on the court or, I guess, third, fourth coach on the court for us or on the sidelines. And so... Um, yeah, it was definitely valuable, and I appreciated her staying locked in and being committed to us for the entirety of the season while also rehabbing and, and trying to get back to full strength. So, um, yeah, definitely a, a voice that, that we love to hear and somebody that um, was a leader for us. All right, Coach Hammond is on her way. This will be the last question for Connecticut players. Uh, first row center. Um, JJ, AT touched on it a little bit of just, you know, a lot of people didn't expect you guys to be here and just how you guys fought this season. Just what is your, you know, pride in this group and being able to, um, you know, navigate Jazz's injury and get to this point and, um, you know, just throughout this entire season, continuing the fight with, you know, these elimination games to push, you know, Vegas to this point? Yeah, that, um, you know, this team has heart. Uh, this team has a lot of pride. This team, um, you know, everybody's made sacrifices for us to be able to be back here. Um, and like Courtney said, the chips didn't fall on um, the way we wanted them to, but um, there's a lot of selflessness um, and a lot of sacrifices to be able to have this team back together and, and, and make this run. Um, and, um, you know, while it's tough and it's disappointing, uh, we get to say that we were one of the last two teams standing and, and playing for a championship. And so I got a lot of pride and um, a lot of joy with the moments that I've had with this team and, and, and how the ladies have been ready to play every night. 
John Quell, Alyssa, Courtney, thank you.